Unveiling the Mystery of Phenotype Hello, dear friends and avid learners. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating topic that bridges the gap between genetics and our everyday life. We're talking about phenotype, a term you might have come across in science classes or when discussing traits and characteristics. Whether you're a language learner, a curious mind, or simply looking to expand your vocabulary, this explainer will help you understand what phenotype means and how it's used in English. So, let's get started and unfold the layers of this intriguing concept. Let's begin with the basics. The word phenotype comes from two parts. Pheno, meaning, to show or display, and type which refers to a kind or class. When combined, we get a term that's used in biology to describe the observable characteristics or traits of an organism. These can include physical appearances like height, hair color, and eye color, as well as behaviors and even some molecular traits that can be seen, like blood type. But what's essential to understand is that phenotype is not just what you can see with the naked eye. It is the result of the interaction between an organism's genetic makeup, known as the genotype, and the environment in which the organism lives. This means that even with the same genetics, the phenotype can vary depending on environmental conditions. To grasp this concept better, let's look at some examples. Consider the simple example of a butterfly's color. Butterflies can have various colors and patterns on their wings. These patterns and colors are part of the butterfly's phenotype. Another example is human blood type, which is an observable trait determined by specific genes. Your blood type, whether A, B, AB, or O, is an aspect of your phenotype. And while we might think of traits like hair color or height as fixed, Phenotypes can also include traits that change over time, such as the ability to tan when exposed to the sun. Understanding phenotypes is crucial for several reasons. In medicine, it helps doctors understand and predict certain genetic conditions. In agriculture, farmers can select crops or animals with desirable traits to improve yields. Moreover, in conservation biology, understanding the phenotype can aid in protecting endangered species by learning more about their adaptability to changing environments. Phenotype is also a fundamental concept in evolutionary biology. It is the physical expression of genes that can be acted upon by natural selection. Therefore, the study of phenotypes is not just about understanding what we can see but also about the underlying genetics and environmental interactions. In everyday English, the concept of phenotype extends beyond science. It's used metaphorically to describe any characteristics or traits that are evident and observable. For instance, you might hear someone say, the phenotype of that car is sleek and modern referring to its observable features, not its genetics, of course. And that, friends, wraps up our exploration into the world of phenotypes. We've seen that it's more than just the physical appearance of an organism. It's a complex interplay between genes and the environment. I hope this video has illuminated this concept for you and perhaps even enhanced your appreciation for the diversity of life around us. Keep pondering, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep learning. Until next time, goodbye and take care.